my name is Debbie Fierst, and I'll be your instructor for Microsoft Excel. I've been in the technology business for more than 20 years, and I've been teaching Microsoft Excel since version 1. I've taught hundreds of students, and I look forward to teaching you as well. In this lesson, Automating Worksheet Functionality, we'll learn how to update our workbook properties, how to create and edit a macro, and how to apply conditional formatting. And then we'll learn how to add data validation criteria. In this topic, we're going to learn how to update our workbook properties. Every workbook that you create in Microsoft Excel has a feature called Properties. In the File Info area is where you will find these properties and you have the capacity to fill in details, also called metadata. This is referred to as metadata. It's basically ancillary data, extra data, that provides insight into what the workbook is about, who created it, okay? And when you get into that properties box, you have five tabs that you can fill in. The main one is the summary tab, as you see here, and you give your workbook a title, put in a subject, say who the author is, perhaps who the manager of that author is, and the company name, and you can fill in things like keywords, comments. This is very helpful when you're trying to locate a workbook later. You can utilize this metadata to make sure you're finding the proper file. 